Hi, my name's Elliot from Run Repeat, and I'm here with the Under Armour Hover Guardian 2s. These uh, Under Armours support shoe featuring their hover technology, so a tracking chip inside the right trainer. To start off with some basics on the shoes. So these weigh in at about 352 grams each, and that's for a size nine and a half that I've got here. In terms of offset, they've got an eight millimeter offset. As they're a support shoe, there's a lot of support in here. These are made for people who are uh, kind of strong over predators, um, who want that real support and of starting out for a review. I've worn these trainers for, for just over 50 miles so far. Done a bit of walking as well as running in these. 50 miles of running and a, and a bit of walking. I'd say they're a comfortable shoe, very plush in terms of the cushioning. There is a lot of support, so I've spent quite a bit of time myself working to move towards a more neutral shoe. So these were a bit of a shock to the system, I'd say. So at the moment, I mainly use uh, Nike Pegasus 35s and a pair of Meta Runs, which are, are ASICs, whereas these came in a, a really kind of strong support level. So I, I definitely keep that in mind. So if you're thinking about uh, getting a, a new support shoe or taking on one, make sure that you're used to this and, and you also build up so you don't jump straight into using these on a slightly longer run. But I mean, overall, as I say, comfortable shoe, very plush interior, quite firm. Overall, a, a decent support shoe, and especially when you throw in the hover technology. So, hover technology. Hover technology is amazing. Although I'm not someone that would you know, forget my watch or, or need my shoes to track, it's incredible to be able to look at data and see exactly how your foot has struck, exactly the angle at which it struck for how long you had contact with the ground, and all of those kind of extended metrics, including cadence. All of that information, to be able to look at that and work out what your stride is like and what kind of changes you want to make, and then track those changes, such an incredible feature. That alone would get me to buy a pair of these, and not necessarily the Guardians, but would get me to buy a pair of the Hovers at least just to really learn about your stride and, and things that you can't necessarily pick up on without either filming yourself running or, or something else. Absolutely amazing, definitely worth it. The app itself is incredible. You can get all sorts of information and live time coaching. So while you're actually wearing the shoes, you can check your phone, not advisable on a trail. On the road, you can quickly check your phone and see exactly in terms of cadence and everything else where you're sitting at the moment and then make live changes to that and watch as it changes, which I mean, it's something really good if you're trying to learn how to slightly change your stride or you want to tweak how you run. From the, the get-go, literally once you get the shoes, download the app, shake the right shoe, within a 10-15 seconds it'll pop up, you'll be able to connect it, and then you're off to go, and then whenever you want to sync them, either uh, make sure that you, you check on the app when you're just finishing your run, so when you're kind of finishing walking, or just shake the shoe later on in the day, and up it will come and you'll get everything there. Overall, can't fault the technology. Absolutely amazing. Also really good if you are someone that doesn't want to take their phone, doesn't want to take a watch, you want to just head out. Great way of making sure that you still have that data at the end of the day and you can look at what you've done. <laughs> Moving on. So now I'll talk to you a little bit about the look. So for me, I wouldn't say these are the, the best looking shoes. Fairly bright, fairly out there. Good that they've got some reflective uh, panels. So up here at the front, as well as a bit around the backs as well, you start to get some uh, reflectiveness especially if you're running late at night or early in the morning. It's a great feature to have. Areas, so as I said, at the beginning, very plush in terms of the cushioning. So as you can see there, you've got a very thick cushion up there. Also, although they're not the best looking trainers, I mean, they are quite cool to look at. Quite bright, quite vibrant. The webbing especially is quite a cool feature, which is all about keeping in the, the rubber on the sides and for the sole. But overall, yeah, I sold it up. Uh, one of the features that I quite like is within the tongue, you see that it's got dual loops. So actually, it very much keeps the tongue in place. Tongue doesn't move at all when you run, which is very good. It ensures that you don't end up getting blisters or, or the tongue end up moving to the side and feeling uncomfortable over long runs. The longest I've done in these myself has been about uh, seven or eight miles in one go. Um, I personally wouldn't be able to push too much further, just given the supportiveness. I'd probably keep them more as a shorter run shoe. A bit too heavy to do anything with tempo work, so it'd be more the easy kind of recovery runs where you want that support and you want that cushioning. Also, one final point on the upper. So for the upper, they're very breathable. That's your feet, although they are very sportive, you know, you've got the, the kind of hill locking system here as well. They are very breathable, so you can definitely wear these in a kind of hot summer run. I would say they're not the best in terms of durability for the upper, given if you see that. So that's after, you know, 50 miles. And there's already a bit of a tear, but I do spend most of my time running through trails, so that's to be expected, I guess. Also, you've got a, a support system here as well on the side. So there will give you a bit of support in terms of uh, your arch and ensuring that roll doesn't happen. The midsole. 
the midsole. So uh, as we can see when we take out the insole, you've got a nice thick cushioned insole here. Very thick compared to some other shoes you get. In general, support wise, you've got a lot of arch support. You've also got your, your counter we mentioned at, at the beginning. Uh, so it ensures that your heel is locked. You then also got a kind of system here as well, which will ensure, so this works with the midsole to ensure that you don't overly pronate inwards, keeps your foot striking and moving forwards. Other than that, for the midsole, so they're a very firm shoe. So although soft and, and plush, they're not soft underfoot. So it is quite harsh underfoot if you're not used to that. You know, it's not, not like running on cows like some of the other shoes, but certainly a, a good experience as long as you're happy with that more firm level of support. Also, you, you won't tend to feel too uh, connected to the ground due to the support. And also due to the support features, you'll have a bit of extra weight. So they're around 352 grams for a nine and a half UK size men's. But overall, a, a good level of support. And, and as I say, as long as you're happy that you're not going to feel too connected to the ground, I wouldn't say that they have a huge bounce back or, or the zero gravity features that Under Armour mentioned. I, I don't necessarily experience, but I am used to running in lighter softer shoe so uh, the Pegasus 35 for instance uh, from Nike or uh, the A6 Meta runs but overall very good for support so if that's what you're looking for definitely recommend something along these lines they are a bit heavy so if you can find one with slightly lighter I'd probably go for that but overall good support level for someone needing support. Uh, then moving on to the uh, outsole itself so the only problem with these is that stones can get stuck in here. It doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it can be quite annoying. Other than that, I mean, high abrasion rubber, so you've got nothing to worry about in terms of lasting and durability. I've, as I say, worn these for over 50 miles, and you can't really see any wear and tear on these. Still looking great. Grip-wise, these are great. Definitely fine on trails, pavement, try them in the rain, sun or shine. They seem to be great. Go around corners fast, and anything else you need to do. Definitely fine with these, uh, and no concerns at all. So. As you can see here, a hard bit of plastic along the bottom. You've got yourself a support system here. Uh, so that's a hard plastic system that will really ensure that your arch gets supported and that you don't overly in roll inwards. So I guess just to finish up, overall, solid support shoe from Under Armour. For, in my opinion, a bit heavy and not really to the right support level for me. So I'd prefer something a bit softer on the, the support spectrum. But if you do need that strong support, these are a solid choice and the hover technology I would definitely recommend. So I would happily go and buy any other pair of, of the Under Armours with the hover technology, even if it was just to learn how I run and then try and make some changes. So the coaching features in the app and everything else, super easy to, uh, to sync up as well. So you just shake the shoe while you've got the app on and the shoe will connect and it'll update the app and everything else. So really cool feature from that perspective. Otherwise, some good features, you know, things like the support systems that they've got, here with the heel counter, the plushness inside, the fact that it's breathable, the fact that it's quite reflective for your late night, early morning runs, all really solid features. For me, it's just the weight that lets it down slightly, also the lack of uh, connectedness to the ground and the firm feel under foot uh, I found quite harsh compared to what I'm used to. So that's it for the Under Armour Hover Guardian 2s. I'd go for a score for a for run repeat of around 78, factoring in kind of everything I've mentioned. Thank you, I'm Elliot from Run Repeat. These have been the Hover Guardian 2s from Under Armour. Please subscribe to our Run Repeat channel, look out for new reviews and check out the website if you want to see even more reviews of best running shoes. Thanks. Thank you.